Frustrated Gen Z activists are targeting vehicles and tires of SUVs. Mask wearing activists are targeting high end SUVs, the kind of vehicles that are the second largest cause of global rise in carbon emissions over the past decade. Now, these tire extinguishers, as they call themselves, kneel down, unscrew the tire valve cap, stuff in a lentil inside, and put the cap back on. The tire extinguishers movement started in the United Kingdom. It later spread to many other countries and it has now landed in the United States. Since June this year, dozens of SUV and pickup truck owners in New York, San Francisco, Chicago have discovered their vehicles with flat tires along with a note that says your gas guzzler kills. Another note read, you'll be angry, but don't take it personally. It's not you, it's your car. These activists say that the vast amount of planet heating emissions that are released by the vehicles are the nails in the coffin of the climate. Activists question why does anybody need an SUV, especially in New York? They say you do have the freedom of choice, but you don't have freedom from consequences. And I don't disagree. The United States has embraced large SUVs like no other country in the world. These super-sized cars dominate the US streets. Modern SUVs offer comfort with adventure and ruggedness, even for urban dwellers. Take, for example, Toyota Sequoias, named after the tree found in a mountain range about 3,000 miles from New York that, by the way, are on fire because of climate emergency, can be found dotted on the Upper East Side streets in the US. Now, because SUVs combine the weight of, say, an adult rhinoceros, and the aerodynamics of a refrigerator, they require more energy to move around than smaller cars. And therefore, they also emit more pollution. Now, as their popularity has increased, so has their impact on the climate crisis.